So when you arrive at the Basilica, you need some direction because your thought is to go in to the church. That's the Basilica, but that's not where Our Lady is actually, this icon is kept. And as I mentioned before, this is a monastery, fully operational. They have agricultural operation. Here are the monks who are going by on their tractor. They're preparing for the spring planting. So what you have to do is you have to go in this archway here, under that beautiful image of Our Lady, that's where you go, okay? So we'll go that way. No one tells you this. Well, there's very few people that speak Pol uh, English here of the staff at the guide, mostly because the Pol the, uh, and to find Our Lady, you're looking for this altar. That's the altar where she's going to be kept. So that's what you're looking for. And um, we'll see what we can find here. And uh, here's a beautiful monument with some candles under it. It's all in Polish, but I, I see 1920, and that's when the Poles declared their independence and we founded the modern Polish state. And I see the Sacred Heart up there, so maybe this was an act of consecration to the Sacred Heart that they made. And, um, you know, after Fatima, Our Lady only appeared one place to save a nation, <laughs> and that was here in Poland, because Our Lady appeared above the heavens to frighten the Marxist, uh, the Bolshevik army that had come to Warsaw to bring the revolution to Europe. And the Poles defeated them and drove them back all the way to Kiev, and, uh, which was one of the most stunning modern um, military uh, adventures. And so maybe this remembers that. that. Then we have this inner courtyard here. I think I say this is a monastery, it just goes on and on. And that's probably the basilica there. I don't know where Our Lady is, though. Here's another beautiful bronze monument. 1940-2010. I think this commemorates the suffering of the people of Poland from the year the National Socialists of Germany, under Hitler, got control of the country, to... Um, modern times and when they were under the Soviet boot. I don't know why it says 2010, but maybe it's because it's the 70th anniversary of their enslavement. Now, I don't know where... Let's see now. I don't know. <laughs> I'm making a tour of it to tell you where to go, and I myself don't know. So there's all these other bronze monuments over here. And maybe I have to go in this direction. Well, I'm going to go to this church. I don't think it's this one, but I'll try here.
Okay, so that altar behind the grail where they were saying mass, that's where the image of Our Lady Chestahova is. And for respect, I'm not going to film while they're during their service. Now you know how to arrive at the feet of the Queen of Poland. Have a I hope you enjoyed this video pilgrimage.